Hello, good morning, everybody. I, I think, first of all, thank you very much for being here so, so early. And uh, before starting uh, uh, this uh, press conference, I think it's important to introduce the different people who are going to answer your question, to tell you why they are here. And uh, so I start with uh, the very uh, important representative of uh, Rwanda. On, on my left, you have, nobody's a protocol, I should start with you, in fact. Uh, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> nope. Protocol in Rwanda, it's very important. <laughs> so RDB, <laughs> represented by Ariane, please introduce yourself, everybody, and then I will make a short introduction and we'll answer your question. <laughs> good morning, thank you, Olivier. Uh, good morning, everybody, Madame uh, Tset. My name is Ariela uh, uh, Kageluka, Head of Department of Tourism and Conservation at Rwanda Development Board. Uh, thank you very much for being here. and. Uh, I'm very happy uh, to be here with you as well. Thank you. Yeah, introduce yourself and give you a few Oh, women. Let me So let's. Okay, uh, ladies first. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Haba Hadija, Head of Marketing and Communications at Rwanda. Thank you. A proud partner of this event, and I will uh, give the mic to another proud partner of this event, to carry the uh, MD of Big Arena. Yeah, good morning. Um, my name is Carl Schofield. I'm Managing Director of QA Venue Solutions, which is the managing entity for BK Arena. Uh, happy to be here and great to see everyone. So, yeah, so uh, today's an important day because in, uh, in just two days from now, we are going to have here in Rwanda, I think one of the biggest ever uh, award ceremony, music ceremony. Um, organized in this country and also organized in Africa. So um, the idea today is not to have a traditional press conference where we are going to explain to you from scratch everything about this award because I imagine, I know, and I in fact had multiple <laughs> occasions before uh, to meet with you and you know already what this uh, event is about, but just a few big figures on facts about this. What is going to happen, in fact, starting Friday? Because we always talk about the Trace Award, but you've got also the Trace Award on the festival. So, starting on Friday, um, at the key uh, CEV conference exhibition center, which is uh, nearby the Marriott, the, the Serena, or these hotels, we will have the Trace Festival uh, that will start on Friday afternoon. There will be also an uh, opening uh, party um, at this time. There will be you will all be invited to a session where we are going to introduce all the different partners of the festival. You will have, obviously, artists. There will be a few concerts. But you have also exhibitors on the marketplace. You have uh, also a lot of conferences about the creative uh, industries. Um, you will have uh, some uh, fashion events. And I'm, I'm saying that because, in fact, we took the opportunity of the award of having a lot of personalities, a lot of celebrities, a lot of journalists, a lot of creators, managers, to really try to bring their expertise to Rwanda. There was a very strong demand need, especially from the young people, from the creators. That was also something we discussed a lot with the RDV, that this event is not just one event that come one day in Rwanda, on the day after we leave, and there was no legacy. So the idea is really not only to entertain our people, but also to empower our people, empower the audience, on all the people who are interested by this uh, creative industry. So this festival will last from Friday afternoon until Sunday evening. You will have Bruce Melody performing. You will have uh, Nom Sebo from uh, uh, South Africa with, uh, South, um, with the Soweto Gospel Corps performing. You, you will have a lot of DJs. You will have a lot of great events. So uh, please don't forget when you communicate about the Trace Award to mention also the, the festival. But I know that most of the people are here because of this uh, award ceremony. So what I can tell you already, first of all, it has been extremely difficult, challenging to organize this event, but thanks to all our partners, we make it. And um, I can tell you that some of the artists started uh, arriving yesterday, thanks to Rwanda. Most of them uh, flew on Rwanda from London, from Paris, from Lagos, from Johannesburg. I don't know how many tickets you issued already, but uh, we'll give us more information about that. But um, uh, some started, a lot of will arrive today, tomorrow. Uh, the last one will arrive on Saturday morning, so you can imagine the nightmare to do a rehearsal 
when you've got your artists arriving on Saturday morning, but some have got other obligations in other countries. We had also uh, to uh, rent some private jets for certain of these elite artists um, because for their, they could not take the one day of flight because it was not possible for timing schedule issue. But eventually, we'll have more than 60 artists uh, coming for the award and for, for the festival. And during the award, we'll have about 50 artists performing. Um, I've got some of the names, and I will not uh, name all of them, but uh, I can already announce, obviously, Davido, Mr. Easy, Yemi Alade. Um, um, you will have uh, Benjamin Dubé, you will have uh, um, Didi Bé from uh, Ivory Coast, you will have Soraya Ramos from uh, uh, Cap Verde, you will have uh, um, uh, Kader Japonais, who is a massive artist from uh, Gabon, you will have uh, um, from France, Ronisia, you will have the composer from from, um, from Nigeria, uh, you will have uh, some artists from Uganda, Levixon, and Azawi. Um, you will have um, uh, Chris Easy, Buiza, I already mentioned Chris Bolani from, uh, from Rwanda, and, uh, and Rima will be there, is confirmed. Uh, so we are still working on exactly the format of uh, what he will do. As you can imagine, he's a very, very big artist now. And, and, and to be honest, when we started working with uh, RDB on this event nearly more than two years ago, mm -hmm. the, the African stars were African stars. Now they are no longer African stars. They are global stars. That changed a lot of things for the organization of this event. Because these guys, you know, uh, um, some of them, when they perform for normal events, they will ask fees of uh, $500,000, $1 million. On, um, so, we had to really use all our leverage, 20 years of trace, of supporting these artists, of promoting these artists, not just in Africa, but in the entire world, so that we could convince them to find a slot in their calendar and make sure they could come and also perform. So um, I think we are 99% there. Um, I, can, I can say also that the infrastructure that we found um, in Rwanda from the quality of the big arena, the quality of the equipment, the support of uh, RDB and also RCB, uh, the Rwanda uh, Convention Bureau Board, and uh, also from Rwanda and many other partners have been amazing um, because, as you can imagine, you can't organize an event like this without an addition of a lot of bricks. And you need all the bricks to be aligned. If there is one problem, you can really uh, fail the entire experience that not only we want to give to the artists, but also to the audience, to the sponsors. So I'm not mentioning now um, uh, Martel uh, from Pernod Ricard, you know, the cognac brand Martel, who is also one of the uh, title sponsors of this uh, event. They've been extremely supportive uh, from the very beginning. And all together, I think there are about 300 people working on the event right now. Whether it's on uh, hospitality, whether it's on airline, whether it's on the, um, the production side, uh, I can really tell you that the, uh, also we get yesterday the first report about the press mm -hmm. uh, coverage we, we started uh, deploying all over the world. The value of the press coverage we had until now, even before the main event, is already more than $56 million. So your countries have been promoted all over the world for a value of already $56 million. And it's a company, it's not raised, we decided this number. It's a professional company uh, in, in South Africa. So I can say that we are on track for a great, for an amazing event. So I will give the mic to our partners. Uh, and the idea today is really to answer your question. At the end of the press conference, if you want, we can show you what we are doing on, um, on the venue. And we are finalizing uh, the building of the stage and everything. The only thing, we like you not to take pictures now because we want to keep the magic uh, for the audience, for not only the audience on the venue, but also the TV audience. But uh, if you want, because you came, and we will appreciate your, your presence, you can have a view. Uh, but please, uh, and, uh, we are not going to, to take your mobile phone, and uh, you know, we are not like this, but we believe you are responsible pe people, and, um, and you can talk, you can uh, describe what you are going to see, but we prefer really to make sure that uh, uh, people have got an impression of the final uh, stage, which is not yet uh, finalized. It will, should be finalized, uh, Cal, correct me, maybe tonight, huh? we, uh, with also the security check. And it was a big uh, obligation for all of us to make sure that all this is very safe. 
And, um, and this is it. So I give you Ayla the, the mic first, and, uh, and then uh, to you, and you, uh, Kyle, and uh, then we'll answer your question. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, before we open the floor for the rest of the journalists, we do have a few key questions for our okay. panel. Wow. Uh, one, mainly first, starting with Monsieur Olivier. Uh, how important has the local partners been in to, uh, to the awards, to the press awards? How important have they been to you? I, I think they are critical. Without them, we can't do it. You know, <laughs> this is an award where you need an addition of bricks, as I said. You need a country. You need a political wish to welcome an award like this. And then you need a lot of infrastructure. So you need a venue, you need uh, hotels, you need uh, uh, cars, you need uh, airlines. So, uh, on the good news, on Tugonet, there are not many countries in Africa who can really align all these dimensions at the same time. This is why right now we are here, but you know there is a mobile congress at the same time. Uh, there are a lot of events coming to Rwanda because you have the vision to make the investment, to build this infrastructure, and also to have, uh, you know, what I call the, the soft reality. It's not just uh, bricks and mortars. You need people. You need people who understand what it means to welcome some of the most complicated people in the world. I can tell you the Nigerian artists are really something. And, uh, so yeah, so on, on the people here understand this reality and have been extremely supportive. Thank you so much. That answers as well the, the why did you choose Rwanda? Answers it already. Uh, to RDB, uh, Ariela, why did RDB get involved with the Trace Awards? Uh, thank you so much. First of all, thank you once again, Olivier and the Trace team for choosing Rwanda to celebrate your 20th anniversary, but also to uh, stage the first ever Trace Awards. I think um, it's an incredible achievement uh, for Africa, uh, but also uh, for Rwanda. And um, we were really grateful um, to Trace uh, for having chosen Rwanda uh, for this important event. And to, obviously, um, the, the, the partners, um, I really like to call media partners because the media value that you mentioned wouldn't be possible mm. without the partnership of the media, without their attention, without uh, being uh, attuned to what is happening and actually um, sharing it with Rwandans, with Africa, and with the world. Um, and of course, our partners, uh, Rwandair, BK Arena, um, and also that brings to the question and um, seeing the trace, what the trace awards and festival bring to our destination and to our creative industry, which is um, works very closely with tourism, um, it, it was not, a, it, it was a no-brainer for us to choose to work with them. Um, and as he said, uh, Olivier, uh, bring all these performers to Rwanda. We've been seeing performers coming to Rwanda. Most of the names that you mentioned have been to Rwanda a couple of times. But coming for the first ever Trace Awards and Festival, um, we would like to, you know, we add our voice to supporting not only the Rwandan artists who uh, we've been inviting to take advantage of this opportunity, uh, the creative industry to take advantage of the different conferences and uh, talks and, and master classes and workshops to uh, upscale or even know, you know, uh, or create or leverage that, that platform and be able to forge new partnerships, get new skills, or share even their own stories and share their skills. I think it's a great platform for collaboration, for visibility, uh, for the creative industry in Rwanda. And the same for Africa. Rwanda has been working really closely with um, uh, you know, the rest of Africa to bring Africa together, to shine together and, and work together to bring um, amazing uh, things that we see in other places also on our continent and, and benefit from them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aurelia. And uh, now I'm going to Kai. You, as BK Arena, you've been hosting lots and lots of events. What does the Trace Awards and Festival bring and change and add to the entertainment of creative industry? Yeah, I think I, I think it goes it goes back to to you know our our core philosophy coming into this building, and that was really on the basis of creating a, a hub for sports and entertainment. Um, and if you hear some of the numbers that that Olivia is, is putting forward with regards to the media value of fifty six million dollars, the event hasn't even happened. Um, 
we're already at that point. We've got multiple artists coming into the market. All that does is it, it amplifies what we are doing as the arena, and I think really plugs into the strategy from a government perspective. Uh, you know, we've heard Ariela speaking about all of the coordination um, across the different entities in market to achieve this goal of really bringing some top quality content to the continent and more so to Rwanda. So um, ultimately, if we were, if we had to pay the normal fees to get all these 50 artists in Rwanda, the cost would be more than 10 million dollars just for the artist fees. If you add normally the normal fees uh, to come at an event, to perform. So, but because also you have to understand the relationship we've got for these guys and girls, uh, we give them money all the time because we pay music rights in many, many countries. And we give them exposure, promotion. Um, so they've got a very intimate relationship with us and they recognize the value we can bring to them and they accepted to make significant efforts to come to Rwanda for this uh, event. Did I answer your question? <laughs> what else do you want to know? You want to know whether we pay Davido, whether we pay Rema, whether we pay her? I can tell you there is a cost to have them. But the philosophy, we couldn't afford to be honest. And even if we put great partners, <laughs> but as Aurelia, please give me 10 million dollars <laughs> just for the artist, she will, she will tell me, mm, Difficult. So, no, so we've got deals, and you know, we give them also promotion. Um, some artists are going to release a new album in the coming weeks. So we said, okay, you come, but we promote that. So the love each discussion is a different discussion. What makes it beautiful, but also super complicated, because you have to deal with a lot of egos, you have to deal with a lot of realities, and um, so we, we have to hire. Uh, some consultant, we've got two consultants whose job is just to take care of the top, top uh, artists and their, um, you know, requests, their needs, make sure they are happy. And this is where also the experience for them on, when they will arrive from the, the moment they land at the airport until the moment they, they leave is so important. So it's not just the moment they will be on stage, but they want to feel the country. They want to feel that the infrastructure, that the people, uh, that what they will have uh, the engagement with the audience is absolutely amazing and I think that's also a message because when you bring an event like this to a country, people have to understand why we do it and how they can really not only benefit from it, but each relationship they will have with one this person is also part of the experience they will get from Rwanda. So super important that everybody plays the game and, uh, and contribute to the success of the event. Thank you. There is a very important question we would like to skip. There is this question, how is it possible that we're going to pull off a 50 or 60 performance on Saturday? Good question for me? Yes, yes. How is it possible? <laughs> well, first of all, 10 years ago, we, we did an, an event uh, in, uh, in France uh, with only French artists, and we had about 60 artists. Um, and what we learned, uh, and it lasts about uh, uh, four hours, what we learn is that uh, in addition to having the artists performing their best song that everybody is looking for, we decided to organize collaboration. And, um, so like this, you can have on stage two, three, four artists, uh, and this collaboration creates magic. Because you will see certain pieces, certain segments of music that you've never seen before. You will see certain artists that have never played with another artist, you will see them together. So, the, the solution to bring all these artists together on stage and not make a 20 hour show, which would be a little bit long, uh, is really to work on the preparation, work on collaboration, spend a lot of time explaining to the artist, no, you cannot perform during 12 minutes. Maybe sometime you will have two minutes, you will have two minutes, 40 seconds. So this show, I can tell you, it's a military organization. And when you want to put in place a military organization with artists which are not always very disciplined, this is complicated. Mm. So on sometimes certain artists, uh, yesterday told, oh, I missed my plane, I will arrive before, so you have your rehearsal, your schedule already, so you have to reorganize the entire timing. So we've got two groups, two backing bands uh, for the artists. We took one of them is the performers, uh, no, the composer, sorry. And uh, it's, a, it's a group, mainly with Nigerian and uh, Ghanaian and uh, 
a British artist, that are um, accustomed to support David Do, to support many of the Nigerian artists. So we know that even if they have a very, very short amount of time to rehearse with the artist, they will make it happen. So it's an addition of so many, so many things to make sure that it works. And also our TV production team is extremely flexible. They are very organized, but then they said that they have to be flexible. So we may have to take certain decisions until Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock, because some of the artists will arrive on Saturday morning. And if for any reason it's not possible to do something, you have to change the entire running order of the show. By the way, I didn't mention two very important persons who are the bench, the Nigerian artist, and Maria Borges, who is a supermodel from Angola, who will be the co-host uh, of the show. They never met each other. And, and you will see the magic of uh, you know, this type of event, um, having them together on stage, very different personalities, very vibrant personalities, very different background, but we wanted also to break the traditional host of this type of show and bring artists uh, that, are, that represent also the African excellence that we want to, to showcase during this event. So yeah, so I think if there were one word to summarize my answer, I would say preparation. Thank you so much. Uh, let's have Lucky. Thank you, Austin. Um, my questions, uh, I, I have three questions. Uh, first of all, I will ask um, Mr. Olivier, the end of choice. Um, are you dreaming to bring back Trace Awards in Rwanda according to your experience? That's one. And then a uh, second question goes to visit Rwanda. Um, you allow me to say it in Kenya Rwanda so that even Rwandans can, can hear about that. Um, you might see quite a few Trace Awards in Rwanda. Kuba dufite na brand ya cha visit Rwanda umunyarwanda utari muri misale turimo yumbe kwa ragaciro kameze gute cyangwa se biraza kuza ndiki ku Rwanda and then my last question goes to Rwanda air um we must bring the Rwanda air um igeze kure ariko none ko ngeze kure na bwo kuvuga ko igenda guhagara ya aho ngaho nayo mu muri misale turimo turi kuri table imwe na choice awards and choice people uh, yeah, uh, that's a very important question. Many people ask us. Uh, obviously, we'd be more than happy to continue this partnership. You know, when you start a uh, kind of love story, uh, your ambition is to make it last as long as possible. And, um, and obviously, uh, RDB has got objective with this partnership, we've got also objective with this partnership, and um, so we make a, a very uh, clear and um, deep analysis of everything after the event, but on principle, obviously, uh, you know, I can tell you the amount, I mentioned the word preparation, the amount of preparation, the amount of investment uh, we made uh, to do that here, and now that I know that uh, Kigali is a second uh, most uh, attractive city in Africa. Mm -hmm. Who's the number one? <laughs> I think they'll pay me to do the advert for them. Ah, you, you, <laughs> you forget their name. No, 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 Qatar. <laughs> it's Qatar. It's, uh, but it's not in Africa. It, it is. Qatar is in Africa? No, Cape Town. Cape Town. Ah, Cape Town. Yeah. It's not in Africa, sorry, I can say that. <laughs> it's not, Cape Town is different. You know, I live in South Africa. I've been living in South Africa for the last 12 years. Trace has got a company in Cape Town, uh, which is studio we acquired uh, four years ago, the studio, so we produce content for Netflix or different, uh, so it's, it's a great city, um, but I mean, if you really want to be in the heart of Africa, um, you will not go to, to Cape Town. Please don't, don't share that with the South African people. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. <laughs> okay, so did I answer your question? Is that okay? So now you've got a few questions. Oh, just for me to understand. And one second, can you summarize the question you asked in, uh, uh, to Ayala so that I understand what we are talking about? Uh, in English, just for me to... It's okay, in English, uh, I've asked uh, for Visit Rwanda, uh, what are we going to gain as Rwandans okay. so that we have Trace Awards and Visit Rwanda's brand? A lot. Yeah, thank you. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Visit Rwanda. Uh, na Trace uh, Awards and Festival. Icyo bizaza mu Rwanda mbere na mbere cyangwa abanyarwanda 
na mahirwe y'ubufatanye na bivuze mbere na mahirwe yo kugaragara mu ruhando rw'abandi bahanzi mpuza mahanga nkeka ko rigeze kubivuga aho ko abanyafrika abahanzi b'abanyafrika batakira abanyafrika b'abanyafrika ahubwo basigara abahanzi bo ku rwego rw'isi abanyarwanda rero bahanzi nyarwanda nabo ko bari ku rwego rwego ntaga ari gitangaza kuko tuzi ko bahanzi bacu bashoboye niyo mpamvu amahirwe u Rwanda ruzana mu gihe habaye ibikorwa nk'ibi cyangwa se ibitaramo nk'ibi tugera mu ruhare mu kuzana mu Rwanda bigomba kugera mbere na mbere abanyarwanda kamaro ari yo mpamvu rero tukuva mbere bitangira twakomeje kugirana ibiganiro n'abahanzi no kubabaza ni biki bifuze wenda ndagira ngo ngaruke gato ku cyo rigeze kuvuga ko tugirana ibiganiro bwa mbere icyambere cyari ko ubushobozi bw'abanyarwanda kugaragara ko abanyarwanda nabo babyitayo Olivier this is referencing the um, uh, benefits that Rwanda artists are getting and also on the part of the skills uh, and uh, the platform that they will be leveraging uh, because he also touched on it yeah i will say something about yes um and he just no kuvuga ko cyo nakuta uruganda rwa creative industry rukorana bya hafi no gukira rugendo ntabwo ubukira rugendo bwakunda mu gihe hatabaye ibitaramo bizana abantu batandukanye bavuye mu bihugu bitandukanye uri kigeze kuvuga ko na host bwabo batarahura ari kare abantu babahanzi kubona umuziko di band yigeze kuza mu Rwanda ndumva ari nka kabira ahubwo ariko kuba garutse noneho nk'umuntu uza bafite uruhare mu mu gukora hosting y'iki gikorwa ni byingira kamero kubona abantu bantu bose bahitamo ko iki gikorwa kibereye mu Rwanda ntabwo bashaka kugicikwa ni ibintu byingira kamero aho ni ubukira rugendo bwungukira iyo abantu baza mu Rwanda indege yarande ikabazana namwe banyamakuru mukabona akazi kuko companies zireba u Rwanda zikabona ko zishaka kwakora ibikorwa by'itangaza byo gukora n'itangaza makuru bi bitanga umusaruro mu muri ekonomi yacu a biki arena ikabasha gu kwakira abo bantu ikabasha gucuruza numvise ko rije yavuze transport companies nka move nabandi abo bose bagira uruhare mu gutuma ibi bikorwa bikunda kuko ndetse tubonera no mwanya kugira ngo tushimire abanyarwanda ndetse abikorera ku giti cyabo kubyo mwe ariko no kubategura ko urwa uburigi urwanda ruzaje gwakira ibi bikorwa mpuza mahanga tugomba rero gukora twiteguye nuko ibindi bihugu byose cyangwa ikindi kigo amini ikindi indi city yo muri Afrika cyangwa kwisi yakwitegura igikorwa mpuza mahanga n'iki ngiki ama hotel nayo abasha kubona ba client aho niho twungukira abanyarwanda bakabona kazi ndetse ni uruganda rwa rwa kwa creative industry rukabona kazi abanyarwanda bazaba bari muri maybe i need to say this in english a little bit um the around an artist will the creative industry generally fashion music uh, music culture they will feature across the three day festival icyo ni kintu kingira kamero abanyarwanda bikorera muri iyi industry creative bazabasha kubona amahirwe yo kugira y'ubucuruzi mboneleho na none kuvuga ngo twakomeje kuvuga awards cyane ariko twese dushyuhiye festival niyo mpamvu turi hano kugira ngo tuganire namwe mudufashe kumenyekanisha iri ya festival izabirimo ibiganiro byiza izabirimo content nziza cyane tutagombye gucikwa ndetse na families maybe I'll let Olivier also touch on that it's also uh, family friendly the festival will also be family friendly maybe you can also touch on the festival generally um, or more specifically so that people can know more about it and and be able to uh, leverage it ikindi cyumwe hariko navuga we nasoza iyo urwanda rwakira ibi bikorwa muza mahanga nabwo akamaro kava mu muri mafaranga 
Nimenye makuru geza kuvuga ngo tuvuge no kumafaranga ni byiza kuvuga kumafaranga ariko hariho ibintu amafaranga adashobora kugura uh, igihugu cyangwa umujyi nk'u Rwanda kwaki I amene mean, nka Kigali kwakira bino bikorwa kumenyekana ku rwego rw'isi ko twakira dufite um, biki arena dufite indege dufite abanyarwanda bashoboye ku rwego rw'isi ko babimenya ni bintu udashobora kugura amafaranga wabona yigeze kubivuga ko value yuko u Rwanda rwamenyekanye ko ni Chess Awards izabera mu Rwanda ko bigeze ku rwego rwa media value ya 56 million dollars ibyo ni bintu udashobora kugura ahubwo ubona kubera ko hari ibikorwa wakoze byivugira ibyo rero nta kubisa kandi duharanire iyo uh, ibyo shema duharanire guha igihugu cyacu uh, izina bishoboye uh, kandi abantu bazahangaha ntakaze rimwe ahubwo avuga ati ngiye ndashaka kuba mu Rwanda iteka ryose ubwo twizeye ko na trace award byumvise na we saying that um, when you come to Rwanda you don't go back Okay, I will say that to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's welcome to She's come. She's coming and tomorrow. Her. She's coming tomorrow. Excellent. So yes, so we're saying, you we know, contact. when people come here and they ex they experience <laughs> Rwanda, they should be able to enjoy it enough to come back. So that's also a very much uh, a, a, a value that is uh, that you cannot actually buy, uh, but it can only be possible if we all work together. Thank you. Eric Utaratanga Miko, Esther Nintin Kuyamari Festival is our. I suggest that we answer first the question about one day and then we go back to the oh, festival okay. and the impact on the building and the trees. Lucky Wakovich and Kumbaza, Muyena, and Susan the for the sake of um, the media here. It, uh, he asks, well, how is trees enabling us to build and push the brand as run there? So Busubiza Mujukuri Rwanda is a national carrier. It's it's pride for the country. So having international platforms that enable us to continue promoting and raising awareness and pushing the product is also pushing the brand of the airline uh, on all international platforms. Yeah. Um, as Rwanda, whenever we have an opportunity to be showcasing our services and products internationally, we are always, of course, pushing the country. Um, we are soon launching our product, which is Kigali Stopover. And, 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 and this kind of activation that we're doing right now, Trace and all other events that are happening in Kigali, is, is, is that is, has pushed us to create a special product that is going to tell our passengers, while you're flying to any other part of the world, if you're flying from Nigeria to London, break your trip, come to Kigali, experience Kigali before you continue to your final destination. So these are all enablers that help us to create products, but then while we are creating products to continue selling, that also helps us to continue building the brand of, uh, of the airline internationally. So the, the benefits have been told, the impact that brings to the country, everyone knows about pride to continue collaborating with international platforms, and Trace really provides that to us. Um, when you look at their footprints, they're really big in Africa. Yeah, I, I think there was a complimentary answer uh, regarding the impact on the creative industry and what we're going to bring to the creative industry, but also to speak a little bit more about the festival. First of all, part of the partnership, and we didn't mention it yet, we've got a partnership with the Mastercard Foundation, and we are bringing 25 young people from Rwanda to really experience the different jobs that are related to organizing uh, the Trace Award and Festival. So we are men doing some mentorship, we are doing some training, we are spending time with them, um, and I think we are also going to give them a lot of ideas for their future. It's extremely aspirational when you can really work with some of the best professional and uh, organizing uh, events that give you ideas. Yesterday, I had dinner with our, our technical director for this event, who is a Brazilian guy. And he was telling me, oh, he's about 60 years old, he did the Oscar, he did the Grammys, he did the MTV, BT Awards, he did Rock and Rio, he did some of the biggest events in the world. So we wanted to have one of the best ones. And right now we are working with Alpha Event, with a Rwanda Event, with the VK Arena, with all your biggest suppliers of technical solutions to organize uh, an event like this. And the people 
on the ground are so happy to work with guys like him because they learn. They, they, he's got an experience that no one here could have because uh, you started you know, doing this uh, business not so long ago. He comes with nearly 40 years of experience. So that's just an example of what we, 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 we can do. And uh, also, uh, the conferences that we will do during the, um, the Trace Festival, we are bringing some of the best experts. Uh, you know, for instance, we are going to have a conference with Mr. Easy, who is not only a great artist, but also a business person that you know very well. And uh, in, in Rwanda, uh, you will have some of the biggest private equity firms that invest and um, and um, and the creative industry. Some of the people who invested in the Mavin Record label, where you got uh, Don Jesse, you got Rema, you got uh, Iowa Star. These people will tell us why a few years ago they decided to put millions of dollars on how they make it happen. You will have one of the head of Universal Music for Africa. You get, will have uh, the, the CEO of the founder of Empire Record, who now has got nearly 25 percent of the biggest uh, Nigerian artists. All these people are coming for this event. You got also investors, celebrities that just want to be part of it. We receive this request from the U.S. Uh, you know, one of the biggest promoters of African artists in the U.S. is a company named Duke. They organize a lot of concerts with African artists. So all the management of Duke is coming. They pay themselves their ticket on Rwanda, on, a, on they pay their hotel, they pay, you know, and they want to be part of it because they say, we never saw such an event uh, on the continent and we want to be part of it. And people even offer to work with us on all this. So I can tell you the impact will be there, um, not just for the award, but also for the festival where you can have a more direct, intimate relationship with all these celebrities, these artists, and these uh, experts of the creative industries. The World Bank also is sending a few people uh, who are experts in funding creative industries because that's a big challenge in Africa uh, where it's not very well organized, it's very fragmented. So the idea is what and how uh, you know, this big institution should do um, to help us grow the creative industries. And having all this and the Kigali Hub, I think it's really a, a super uh, benefit and, a, and a, an opportunity that is quite unique 